Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we're back in the world of War Thunder. Now, you guys requested that I had a drive or a battle with a Type 94. You also requested that I had a go in a realistic battle for a change rather than arcade. In my personal preference, realistic battles are a lot slower. And with the request of doing a Type 94 in a realistic battle, I was very, very scared indeed. But it paid off. Now this thing's armed with a 20mm cannon, and it has three crew members. I don't know why they couldn't give us four for an extra one to swap out if they're going to get knocked out, but we have three. And the weapon on the back only has the limited arc to the left and right of the cabin. So driving forward towards the target is pretty much useless in most situations. Anyway, let's see how I got on. So jumping straight into the action with the Type 94 in a realistic battle, I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how well that 20mm would perform. On top of that, with my crew members extremely exposed, I was very worried and proceeded in most situations, especially across this bridge, with a lot of caution. But I wasn't scared of going balls out in this situation when there's enemy tanks below me. Gets a few shots off with his machine gun eliminating my loader, but I turn that BT-7 into absolute Swiss cheese with his 20mm cannon. It's beautiful, it sounds lovely, and it's devastating when you land them shots on the right point. Now, continuing to advance across this bridge, I can see my teammates are marking enemy tanks, and any of them bushes over there could hide an enemy tank, but I just need to get across here. And that muzzle blast there from this tank out the B objective is giving him away. He's fired that second shot, and I'm going to light him up and turn another tank to cheese with a 20mm cannon. With only a few rounds left, and tracer fire coming in from my left, and God knows how my driver managed to miss them rounds, just dipping through the canvas all around him. But the tracer fire of the enemy tank has just given him away enough so he can get some more 20mm shots into the enemy. Now, as I'm trying to reposition myself, to get in a secure place to actually capture the B objective, the worst nightmare situation is going to happen for the Type 94. When the artillery marker pops up on your screen saying, one artillery, artillery on your position, or whatever it tends to say, you'll see it pop up in a second, you know that your time is pretty much up in this vehicle, especially in the realistic battle. You just cannot escape the artillery in time. You've just not got enough power in your little truck engine to get away. And as you can see, taken out by the artillery so i switched over to arcade just to see how fast this vehicle could be we catch ourselves a t26 crossing the open and as i engage into the side trying to stop that tank dead i take out his gunner trying to clip a few rounds into his loader firing off the rest of my magazine because the real important thing about this tank that i learned was if you don't go into a battle with a full magazine equipped it's a very quick way of ensuring your death now to catch up with that t26 we didn't have to cross the open ground like he did so there's a German tank lurking behind that rock, and I believe there's a Japanese tank lurking over there. The Japanese can't, tank can't see us, so let's thread through into the German and see if we can use that to get across. Loader and gunner out of action, fire off the rest of the clip. Let's get after that T-26 and make an easy kill out of it. Keeping aware of them enemy aircrafts going above, luckily they haven't managed to take me out or even spot me. Come behind the T-26, and there he is. He's out of action as well. It's a very manoeuvrable, very nimble little truck, this. The only issue, like I keep saying, is that loader gets taken out extremely quickly. So after quickly scanning the area, clearing it of enemy enemy players, we decide to push up into their spawn. When this very nasty surprise comes over the ridge, a Russian tank destroyer. Luckily, the 20mm cannon is doing some damage. I take out the gunner, but I just can't seem to work out where the rest of the crew members are. And there's so many crew members on the back that he's quickly reinstalling new gunners and new drivers into the positions around the tank. You can see the guy disappearing off the back as he gets into another position and I take out his gunner. So with that Russian tank destroyer out of the way, I think I'm in the clear. Then I look back to the map and realize that there's another tank around this corner. And usually when they see that you're in this truck, they usually try to push onto you and take you out. But I thought before that guy takes the advantage and with this artillery going down on my position I've got pretty much nothing to lose in this situation so I'm going to continue pushing on the enemy comes around fires his shot goes straight over the top of us and I unload the 20 millimeter into him taking out his loader his gunner his driver the only man left is the guy who's sitting in his radio opera seat right seat with the next mag in he's out of the action now with artillery going all around me and just a little bit of time to repair 19 seconds at the moment it means that one single shell from this artillery is going to destroy me. Even worse, a plane flying by could take me out or a tank could pop around that corner. 
and since my gun doesn't go to the front of the truck, I am in big trouble here. Luckily enough, the tank behind me on the map decides not to move. Artillery fire coming down on my position again, and I decided the best thing to do really here is just reverse around that corner and take out whoever comes around out of their spawn. On the map, the guy on the top of the hill looks like he's coming around, and if he's got a weak enough tank, I should be able to have him. And it looks like a Japanese tank, an easy kill. Quickly eliminated, shredded through all his crew members. And then out the corner of my eye, I spot a Russian tank in the hills. Quickly getting my gunner on target, I managed to thread one straight and stop his gunner from engaging me while a teammate takes him out. Anyway, I really loved in playing with the Type 94. And if you've got a request for a tank or a vehicle for next week, let us know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.